Next, uh... Next character. <laughs> Tainted Apollyon Mega Satan? Why not? Why not? Meg try Mega Satan Delirium. Those that's doable. Dante, 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 Dom. Anyway. Knockout City, baby. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that, that bother, well, annoy me is a better way to describe it in Knockout City. The number one thing, and it happens all the time. I think it's why, like, it's so much better to be in, like, a stack. But the number one thing that bothers me is when you're fighting either 1v2 or 1v3, and your two teammates, rather than get involved, where they could easily just, like, pick up a kill or at least take some aggression off of you, um... They're just, like, charging each other into bombs over and over, and, like, the bombs miss almost all the time at a, at a reasonably high level because people know how to dodge them better, and you're just, like... You're just, like, just pick up a ball and throw it. It's undefeated. Instead, they're, like, you know, you're, like, catching, like, 17 different balls that are flying at you every, like, one-eighth of a second. And then in the background, you just hear, let's go, beep, 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 and the bomb, like, explodes and, uh, hits nobody. And you're like, thank God for, uh, thank God you didn't help out, like, at all. Really appreciate it. Dude, Bloody Lust is pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't think we turned that into a fly. How are the cats doing? They're doing great, honestly, like, uh... Tomo spends a lot of time in here. He's in my office right now. Ruka spends a lot of time, you know, with Caden the baby during my streams. Uh, so he he's, makes rarer appearances, but like he's good demeanor. The health, as far as we know, is good. Like they're they're just living life right now. I've retired solo queue since having a baby. I mean, I've been I've been talking more about like you know I've been coming off as toxic in like solo queue and I don't dispute it. I've said some toxic things. <laughs> no question there. I definitely don't want to suggest that like I'm always the reason that we win and I'm never the reason that we lose. Especially in uh, Rocket League, there's a lot of games where I'm like, man, if I had just saved that, we definitely would have won. But there are times that I'm just in in. Solo queue is, in Rocket League is the worst. Where I'm just like, stop playing drunk, you, you d-hole. Like, I, I get it. Like, you're like, this is my leisure time, mom, don't tell me what to do. But I'm like, bro, I'm trying to like, win some games here. And, uh, you're like, it, the number one thing, I don't know if you're here, Jay. This is like, I'm, I'm just asking if you experience this as well. I'm in plat in Rocket League, right? It's not amazing, but it's like, you know, it's decent. It's probably like the top one-third of the player base. People don't hit the ball on kickoff. The kickoff, the ball is stationary. It stays still. All you have to do is hit it. And the people, like, on kickoff, they miss the ball. Or they, like... Turn, instead of even trying to hit the ball, they, uh, turn, g use all of their boost to get a boost, and then use 100% of that boost to miss an aerial. And you're like, you've done, you've done nothing. Like, literally, you, you've spent, like, 15 seconds just milling all of the... I'm happy with what we got there, by the way. But, like, milling all of the boost off of the board and then doing nothing. It's just... It's insane. I usually go up against flippy boys who get to the, the ball before me. I hear ya. Like, I, I... I mean, but that's the thing is, like, you don't have to win the kickoff. You just have to not lose the kickoff, right? Like, in, it doesn't bother me if, like, the ball ends up on our side of the of the court. It only bothers me when they don't even contest it, and then you just, like, you know, let in an easy goal, because the person who was supposed to get it was just like, nah, sorry, I just wanted, like, boost instead. Anyway, sorry, I told you, I'm toxic, man. 
I hit a hard wall at diamond three. Diamond three? That's amazing, man. I mean, I knew you were better than me at Rocket League, just to be honest, but like... That's like, that's really good. By my standards, at least. The other thing that, and this is like, I think it's just, maybe I just have a hair trigger for this sort of stuff, but like... Your teammates, in my experience, random teammates are very, um, <laughs> double booger tiers, huh? Random teammates... You could go down like 4-0 with 45 seconds left, and then you vote surrender. They're like, never. I would never vote surrender. Then you go down 5-0, and they start a surrender vote. And you're like, really? It's like at 4-0, you were like, just the suggestion that we would give up here uh, offends me. Then somebody else uh, or calls the vote, and you're like, you know what? I think you're right. We should surrender. Yo, dude, Guppy's eye? Now we're talking. Anyway, I apologize. We don't, we don't need to make it so toxic. But I... I've said it before. And this is... It's the tragedy of, of random solo key, right? I'm never really, like, upset... When a teammate, um... Is bad. As long as the badness is, like, they tried to hit the ball and failed or they uh you know had good tactics in their head but couldn't quite execute it's only when you end up on a team with like yeah two people are in the same party and then like you're hitting the ball and both of them come behind you and hit the ball away from you rather than getting set up for like the shot after you center it and you're like what's what are you doing I don't under understand what you're trying to accomplish here. It's just pure ball chasing, man. Sad. Actually, we should just take this to the next floor. Go ahead, go ahead, give me this. You're random solo queuing for anecdotes, true, false? Mm, trade offer. I receive anecdotes uh, during the end stage of quarantine where I still can't really go outside. Uh, and also we have a young baby. Uh, and you receive my ire by not being a perfect Rocket League player. Perhaps a little, a little more sodium chloride next time. I'll pay for it. Young baby, let's go. No thank you. Let's go. My life for ire. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. That's and we should start playing some StarCraft on stream. This is good stuff. Uh, real talk, obviously, I would never start playing StarCraft or StarCraft 2 on stream. But if I were to, I would only do it for the soundtrack. The StarCraft soundtrack is one of the most underrated soundtracks in video game history. Yeah, o OJ style, if I did it. Chat would probably be bad, you're not wrong. But it wouldn't matter because I wouldn't be able to read it because every single one of my neurons would just be like, you know, saturated fully. I don't think that's the dream, though. Better craft, mine or star? I mean, I think I'm not gonna insult Minecraft. I think it's an amazing game. I would, I would say mine. But, but Starcraft, you know, you gotta respect your elders as well. Don't get me wrong. Trade offer: I receive proptosis. You receive nothing. So apparently you can void these while they're over your head. Well, what have I done? I voided both of them. <laughs> That's fine. I, don't, I mean, it, it sucks to lose IV bag. Because um, it's actually got a really great synergy with Bloody Lust, obviously. But at least we got two flies out of it. That's not nothing.
It's this decent intel. You know, it's, you, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Holy cards? You know we're getting holy cards galore. Told you. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Joker. Dude, I'm just being honest with you. I don't want any of this garbage. Just give me Joker. Take me out of here. We want... Mega Satan Delirium. Mega Satan Delirium. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, let's go. Okay, Mega Satan, no problem. McDonald's Canada actually responded to you. Okay, what, what did McDonald's Canada say to my tweet? Would you give it a green light, a yellow light, or a red light for my IRL stream idea? Hmm, do you know how to handle a, a headset? Send us a DM. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. There's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Trade offer? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop saying it. I gotta wait for that double dose, and then we'll, we'll... I mean, I'll send the DM, don't get me wrong. And when we set up the deal, maybe I could get like a hundred uh, BTS meal uh, paper bags for my wife. I do want to choose like what McDonald's I would do this at. Because there are some McDonald's in the city. I think would be totally fine. I think you're just dealing with people that want an Egg McMuffin. And there's some McDonald's in the city where I'm like... I'm gonna have to hit you with like a hard no on that one. It's, it's a little too much for me, I think. You don't get to choose? Oh man, it's okay, please. Uh, I, can I at least, can we do like a, like a, a, a ban phase and a pick phase? Because, like, I really don't want to do the McDonald's next to the International Village Mall and Movie Theater. I don't even think that one has a drive through So I think I, I, I wasted my, my ban phase on that one. But that's that's a spicy one for sure. Um, I'm avoiding that one now. In Seattle, there's one called... Uh, McStabbies? Yeah, isn't there... There used to be a Seattle uh, Twitter account that was like... Um, I think it was like Happenings at Fifth and Pine or something like that. And I used to follow it because, you know, I thought I was like a Seattle denizen because I go to PAX once a year. Trade offer. I receive some damage in Squeezy. You go to PAX. Um, I'm just going to suck it up so we don't take the damage. Please stop saying trade offer. <laughs> I'm just saying if I'm given a choice, I'll do whatever has to be done. It'll change the way the video goes over, I guess. That's a good point. Squeezy does give you 2 HP, huh? Maybe I wouldn't handle the McDonald's drive through well. It is a lot of, it's a lot of moving parts. Trade offer, I stop saying trade offer and you receive my prime sub. Accepted. <laughs> trade accepted. Well, do we want to fight Hush? I'm trying to think if we need to fight Hush. No, because we want to do Mega Satan. Maybe we can get to Delirium. Yeah, 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 yeah. Third and Pike. In, uh, trade, uh, <laughs> trade offer. Third and Pike Twitter account is no longer active, but the intersection is still wild. I think, like, that's the, the target. This is not a funny story. It gets less funny year after year, but that's why it's really funny to say. Um, because I find it hilarious. Almost, like, the more regrettable it gets as time goes on, um, the funnier it becomes for me to say. But... 
I believe that the target that everybody goes to at uh, at PAX is like second in Pike or second in Pine. So it's like right, it's a block away from that. That was the one where like when we went to go to the target with Dan. Uh, the lady outside of it just yelled at him, Give me money! And then he just burst out laughing and was... he Like, you know how Dan, like, hyena laughs? Uh, he was, While hyena laughing, he was like, How's that working out for you? Which is not... It is unbased. But I will say that it, it was very difficult to not chuckle in the moment just due to the the competing ideologies on display. In Dan's defense, I did also see him give 10 American dollars to somebody who asked him for money for a bus ticket later, literally minutes after that. I kept my mouth shut and didn't uh, laugh when Dan was laughing. However, I also did not give American dollars to the person that said they needed a bus ticket. So, you know, who's who's got more praxis in this situation? He's got the rare double base. That's super based. That's telekinesis, Kyle. I'm just gonna, we, we can just talk about all my Seattle anecdotes, right? Like, since I haven't been to PAX in two years, but like, um, there was the... I mean, we actually, like, don't want it. I don't want it. We'll just turn it into a fly. But I remember, like, we, we went to PAX and there was, like, the, the donation canvassers on the street. That are like raising money for like American charities and stuff like that. And one of them was being like really pushy. So I just, I busted out the nuclear level excuse. Sorry, we're not from the United States of America. We're only here on vacation. Without missing a beat, my dude was like, that doesn't mean you can't help us. And I was like, bro, that's like, I mean, I get it. So you gotta, you gotta push for that sale. But I was like, man, you got me, you got me feeling like mighty uncomfortable. I, sh I should have gone for some kind of, like, okay, how about I give you something and then you give me some money to bring back and donate to a Canadian charity. And then as a result, we could have a little tit for tat, a little quid pro quo, a, a little trade offer. We suck it up. Trade offer. I receive a bill for $20 a month and you receive a bill for $20 a month. No trade offer. No trade offer. <laughs> Sire, they have stolen the trade offer. I unlocked the loss recently. Every time I die, I hear you saying, I'm going to become the Joker. There, there's a bit you could... Or uh, not a bit. Uh, there's a mod you could make easily. I will not install it, but I would not stop anybody from installing it. You could take a sound clip of me saying, I'm going to become the Joker. And then, every time you die, say, I'm going to become the Joker. Dot wave place. And every time you go into a shop, it plays trade off. <laughs> trade offer! You play the trumpet badly in front of one of the most significant pieces of architecture in North America, and I say that you've got no talent! You sussy baka. Plus 20. Let's go. Let's... I love that plus 20, man. The, the memes are... It's a meme singularity. It's like the end of the color out of space. Have you been doing well as Tainted Lost? Yes. No. Got him.
How come you're in good you're good at impressions but bad at singing? No joke, like no jokes at all here. I think that I am better at singing now because I sing to the baby often and I always have the backing track from the uh from like a little piano or keyboard. So like w without the backing track, I can't promise that I I got it. But, like, with the backing track, I'm like, <clears throat> Frog likes to hop, hop, hop. He jumps in the water. You know, it's a little bit like, you know, the national, but... First things first, I'm the realist. Drop the bass, let the whole place feel this. And I'm still in the murder business. I can hold it down like I'm teaching lessons in physics. You should want a bad bitch like me. <laughs> you should want a bad batch like me. Google, yeah, Google DeepMind, don't listen. Do you think you will watch Inside? Yes. I actually, I watched about half an hour of uh, Inside last night before bed. Uh, trade offer. I receive tears and damage every time I get hit. I think it's, uh, I, I enjoyed it so far. I just had to go to bed. But um, I realized, by the way, so I, I talked about it. I've never seen like a Bo Burnham joint prior to this point um i think i realized like i went in almost with a chip on my shoulder i'm actually the reason i don't think i've ever watched any bo burnham stuff is legitimately just like resentment and jealousy that he's like a little bit younger than me and like extraordinarily talented so i'm not gonna say like i'm you know i have imposter syndrome or something it's just like you know, you ever be, like, the funniest guy in your friend group, and then, like, somebody from a different school comes to your school, and all of a sudden, you're like, oh, frick, this guy's, like, ten times funnier than me. And he's six months younger? Like, that's basically how I feel, like, how I felt about Bo Burnham. And then I just decided, I'm just gonna get over it. And I started watching, and I was like, you know, he's, I, I, it's been enjoyable so far. I'll, I'll give us some more. I mean, this guy had the audacity to write the movie 8th grade when he was like 25 years old. Like, just frick off, man. Just frick off. I could. I don't have to, but I could. Yeah, his first special was when he was like 22 years old. That's crazy, man. Like, frick you, dude. That's why I hate the guy. He's very talented, though. Love him. Love him. He does great work. But I'm just mad that, like, he exists. Um, you know, you ever see uh, Amadeus? It's like a little bit like that. I'm like Salieri, and I'm like scraping the, the walls of my inspiration for like the slightest bit of like humor. And then Bo Burnham's just like, I took like six months and I just made like a transcendent piece of media. And I'm like studying his, he, he's like sick in bed going like, and then I just, we'll make a joke with it. We'll do the sock puppet bit, it'll be great. And I'm sc madly scribbling, but getting like angrier and angry over time that he's not even, he's like, no, let's retcon it. Let's do it like this. And then we'll make a callback to this. And now, and then we're going to be a good singer as well. And plus I got this great full head of hair and I'm like, just getting more mad over time. You gotta, you gotta see uh, Amadeus if you've never seen it. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> but if you've seen Amadeus, that joke is hilarious. I'm gonna put that in the... Uh, I'm gonna put that in my special. In my special. <laughs> Actually, Salieri was pretty cool with Mozart in real life. Twitter, do your thing. Are you you're here to tell me that director Milos Forman... In the year 1993, when he made Amadeus about the events that took place 400 years ago, he, he didn't, like, consult with the primary sources to determine the veracity of what he was saying? Come on, Milos. Milos, how you gonna let Wolfgang do you like that, man?
I mean, you should have. Yo, leave Milos Forman alone, okay? He directed Amadeus, great movie. He also directed um, Man on the Moon, good movie. Even if Jim Carrey should be in prison for the way that he treated the other cast and crew while he was there, but... It's still a, it's a good movie. He directed One Flies Over the Cuckoo's Nest as well? I haven't seen that one. I have seen Mission to Mars, though. Uh, that's not a good movie. That is, uh... That's a bad one. It's weird that, like, you know, Armageddon and Deep Impact came out close together. I would say they're both similar in quality. Volcano and Dante's Peak came out uh, close together. They're similar in quality. Red Planet and Mission to Mars came out together. And they're both in close proximity in terms of quality. They're both friggin' horrible. I don't know which one's worse, but they are they're both... Among the worst movies, um, amongst the sussiest movies that came out that year. Chib says you are a Chib clone. Um, it's you, you ever see um, John Carpenter's The Thing? Like right now, I can see why Chib would think that because we're in the phase where we're implementing Chib's humor protocols into our own routine. Um, so we're maybe overselling it a little bit, but soon, like, we're gonna be in this perfect sell Dragon Ball Z type situation where we'll have implemented all of the good parts of uh, Chib's humor and cut a little bit of the fats off of it, and then, uh, and then you'll be ashamed of your words and your deeds when we become the, the perfect aspect. C yeah, when we cut out the, the troublesome gambling. I didn't comment about Chib's weight. I just sometimes the bits they could be leaner. The bits could be leaner. Like not every is anybody else just blanking right now or is it just me? Not every one of those is a slapper. Some of them are 12 out of 10, some of them are fours, okay? Trade offer, I receive a silver chest out of a red chest, vice versa, you receive nothing. I am still, I'm on an infinite streak. I've never made a bad bit in my entire life. I don't plan to now. Wrong. The Jinx, Jinx was not a bad bit. Just because people didn't get it doesn't mean it was bad. Drop a fry, everyone loves drop a fry. Uh-oh, it turns out drop a fry, the crow from the drop a fry tweet, or drop a fry bit in 2014, they tweeted something. They said, I don't like Ellie Kemper. Cancel the crow. Oh, but now Ellie Kemper's been canceled. Re un uncanceled the crow, I think, at this point. Oh, but then it, <laughs> I don't know where we're going. It's a cancel cancel culture. Cancel culture's culture is canceled. Um, this is an item that does nothing and is bad, so we will take this. There it is, my first bad bit. It's because I'm so freaking Burnham locked right now, man. I'm like, I'm bow stunned. What do we have? We must have taken the negative. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Inside sucked. Hey, I don't come to where you work and smack the license plate out of your hand. Jerry Seinfeld, 1998. You had to watch the Rocket League section yesterday, so in order to understand that. So statistically, 4,000 people here are probably wondering why I just suggested you work at a license plate factory.
No thank you. Seinfeld callback, baby. Squammy doo doo doo. Yeah, Rocket League analytics, there. I, I don't know, man. I don't know how you get people excited about Rocket League unless you're like a, like one of the best players on planet Earth. Something we've been, I, I wouldn't say dealing with lately, but at the height of, um, you know, exclusively playing Repentance on stream, we got a lot of people that were like, look at this, he's published uh, 17 Isaac episodes and only 12 non-Isaac episodes in the past four days. You know, we got a lot of like... Variety has fallen by the wayside sort of comments that, that luckily, you know, I took to heart and we've moved past First off, I don't really care because I got a job lined up at the McDonald's drive-thru if this thing falls apart But secondly like the analytics don't lie man You know people they they love to watch baby shoot circle like it's just it gets the people going uh, a super powered rocket car Hitting a ball into a goal? People are like, I sleep. That's not impressive. I see that every time I leave my house. This game that people have watched, you know, probably like 500 hours of over the course of their life, they're like, oh, dude, I gotta see this. <laughs> I gotta tune in for this. I will not be hit or killed. Nope. It's the banter. Dude, I'm like, I'm, i am been through it a couple times. I apologize if I've mentioned this a couple times. I'm increasingly coming to the realization that um, I'm coming to the end of this year of year and a half never being able to leave the house and somehow still coming up with like 40 hours of things to talk about every single week and soon i will be able to exit the house and there will be infinite stories again like i can't believe i'm I made it through this year i mean i figured i would make it but you know what i mean it's crazy the end like you realize there were like Nine months? Actually, now that I think about it, it's probably like 14 months between the start of lockdown and the release of Repentance, where I was releasing an, an Afterbirth Plus episode every day of my life without having... I was going to say without having anything going on, but obviously, like, we did have a baby as well. But, like, there was no... Apart that one time we went to the hospital and had the baby, I had to talk about that for, like, four months straight. And I was like, oh, you wouldn't believe what the tile's like at the hospital. Like, I see where my tax dollars are going. Is that Venetian marble? Like, it's just crazy. I'm so ready to, to get back out in the world and be slightly slighted by strangers. And then, you know, turn it into a, a, a true golden age of the career. I have a, a fairly unique skill. I don't think anybody else gets as is is as perceptive about mild annoyances in public as I am. That's why I, like it is Larry David when I when I watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. I think Larry's a little relatable to like a piece of of someone that's inside all of us but when i watch it i'm like nah man you should go further you're absolutely right why what the heck you're getting three samples of ice cream at the ice cream store like there's people behind you well they shouldn't offer samples if they like you know you get the idea no no no, no. I, I i can't die by like one hit because i i deliberately left the spirit heart around like a fool Don't do me like that. Very nice. I mean, we have a, a ton of damage when we get in there. But we, we really should, like, almost never have to deal with attacks. Except on phase two. It's 
It's a little scary. Dial. Isn't the joke that Larry's reasonable? He's just kind of an a-hole about it? I I don't know, man. Like, I, I harbor the idea that Larry David is kind of like the etiquette police. And a lot of people are used to never being called out on their selfish behavior. As a result, they get mad at Larry. They think Larry's being an a-hole. But really, it's that they were being an a-hole and operating under the idea that they would never get called upon their bad behavior. And they're, they're upset. They feel embarrassed and slighted. Insubordinate and churlish. Uh, how did I only have two mucosals on you? I don't buy it. Dude, soul is hard carrying. That was a dodge and a half. This is Wonderfell? No. Owned. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, absolutely. Rotten Beggar has been unlocked. How do you feel about George Costanza eating a Neclair from the top of the garbage? I stand by George to some extent. Just because a food has touched the garbage can, that doesn't mean that it is infected with like garbage essence. You know, you, you have to take it on a case-by-case -case basis. If somebody threw out like a drink on top of it or something like that, then, then so be it. But it's if it's on top of a doily, then yeah. I don't think we will win here, by the way, but we'll, we'll do our best to not become the Joker. There's a lot of great... I mean, everyone loves George's bits, right? I, the one where he uh, accidentally photobombs his boss's beach photo, and then they have to edit him out, and he's, look, he's looking at them like... So good. Yeah, Curse of the Lost uh, Delirium Floor is toxic. It shouldn't be allowed, in my opinion. At Northern Lions, Seinfeld isn't funny. Uh, excuse me, sir? Here's that attention you ordered. Had the ocean called, they're running out of fish. We tried. I like the erotic food bit. Personally, I find that pastrami is the most sensual of the meats. Pretty Seinfeldy, Walt. Hold on, that will do nothing for us, I think? To turn into a fly? Just give me full health. That's like, all I ask of you is full health. Seinfeld is funny, based and jerry-pilled. I agree. Now we're talking. Based in Jerry Pills. Why do you find that to be the case with Pastrami? It's a quote from the show. It's where it's, it's the episode where Elaine um Wants to prove that she's a good babysitter, but then when she becomes a babysitter, uh, the kid is terrible and like pours orange juice into her uh, into her purse and stuff like that. So then she tries to become a bad babysitter. So she invites George to, you know, cast dispersions on her character. But then the mom falls in love with uh, George or falls in lust with George because he shares her passion for pork products. As one does. As one does.
Yeah, we, we're not gonna blow up fires unless... Because uh, we, we have Guppy's eyeball. So we're not gonna blow up fires unless we see that there's some spirit hearts inside of them. No one can be told what Seinfeld is. They have to experience it for themselves. Just picturing Jason Alexander dressed as Morpheus. I don't know why, like, Jason Alexander dressed as Morpheus is what I imagine everybody looks like at the DEF CON hacker convention. I've never been, nor have I, to the best of my knowledge, ever seen uh, footage of it at all. But it kind of, it just in my head, that's what everyone looks like. George! Were you looking at me, Jerry? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? Well, look again! Newman! Okay, that's Jer Jerry Seinfeld in the in the Matrix. The si what if Seinfeld was... Anybody else coming up with what if Seinfeld was in the Matrix right now, or just me? I don't get it! Why can't I take both pills? They're not that big! Well, you can only take one pill! Somebody's gotta let Tylenol know! They turned me into a battery, Jerry! They're sucking up my energy! You, you could... You could totally... <laughs> oh, this is, this is such like a, a getting older bit. It's like, what if a show from almost 30 years ago was actually a movie from 20 years ago? You sound like Jerry's uncle. Oh, you mean Uncle Leo! Jerry! <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh. Leon from Curb, he'd be great in the Matrix, man. No qu he, dude, he would thrive in the Matrix. Talking about like opening up a hot dog cart in Zion or something like that. Yeah, JB Smooth. His name's already Leon, yeah, he, he fits in. I don't understand the joke, but I'm gonna pretend I do. You gotta get up in that, in that, in that Agent Smith's ass, Larry. You gotta get up in his ass. Eat a candy bar, throw the wrapper on the ground and shit. Oh, man. This is what we gotta get. I'm glad we had a bit before uh, the delirium fight, because you need, you need a bit to sustain you here. Did you see the TikTok? Of the woman shoving the bear? I did not. Um, but it sounds hilarious. I did- Dan <laughs> linked me to a TikTok of like, I guess these people were just driving through like a, a forest or something. And uh, I'm trying to think of what animal. It was either a bear. I think it was a bear. They were driving through the forest, and, uh, like, their dog got out of the car, and they were like, you know, Nathaniel! Nathaniel! And then the dog ran up to a bear, and the bear just, like, smacked the dog. Didn't hurt it, but, like, smacked the dog out of the way. And I was like, how'd you... How did this happen? Fenton! There's a lot of stuff on... I think that's one of the reasons... You know, TikTok is like the anti-George Lucas. Like, you ever see anything in, Se in uh, Seinfeld? What if Seinfeld was Star Wars? If you ever see anything in Star Wars, rest assured, at some point, Disney will make a movie. Um, okay. Um, about, like, remember Shmi Skywalker? You ever wonder how she ended up being an indentured servitude to Watto? 
Coming this fall, The Watto Chronicles on Disney Plus with premiere access. Like, is TikTok is the exact opposite. You're like begging for context, and TikTok's like, no. Begging for the location of context through text. Is the fight over or, or what? How about no, you freaky Dutch bastard? What if Austin Powers was the Matrix? <laughs> Do I make you take the red pill, baby? Do I? Right, Miss Mr. Anderson, right. Anybody else trying to come up with Austin, what if Austin Powers was the Matrix bits or just me? Even the music is done with this run. You're absolutely right. It's like, I'm not getting paid enough for this. I think we got a glitch there. We did a ton of damage. We won. Wow. Imagine that. What if Austin Powers was was Michael Caine? They already did that. That's a, that's the third movie. Look at that. Abyss has appeared in the basement. My name is Neo, and this is my wife, Oprah. <laughs> Slash marker. The uh, we did it. Trinity, Trinity wasn't there. What if Seinfeld was Lord of the Rings? No, we can't. 